Hey guys, what's up? Ben here from NoCultureHub.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build this animated navbar using Webflow Interactions. If you're a Webflow beginner, it's actually a great little animation to start with because it combines mouse move interaction and mouse hover interaction. So it's a great way to start playing and start getting familiar with the Webflow Interactions. Let's get started. Just a quick reminder, as usual, before we start this tutorial, if you want to visit the live preview of this uh, navbar or connect directly into your Webflow project, I put all the links in the description, so go check it out. Now, before we jump into Webflow, let's first have a look at what's going on when I interact with this navbar. So, the first interaction I see when I play with this navbar is on hover. So on hover, I get the left and right uh, bracket appearing and the text is switching from black to uh, red. So that's our first interaction. And the second interaction is when I move over those links, the brackets are moving together with my mouth. So it's a mouse move interaction. So that's the second interaction we're going to build uh, in this uh, navbar. Okay, let's jump into Webflow. So, as usual, I divided my project in two parts. So here is the, um, the top part is the template with my finished navbar. And the bottom part here is when I'm going to rebuild, uh, rebuild this navbar. All right, let's start with the structure of the template. So this template, uh, I, it's a navbar component here with a container. Inside this container, I have a, div, a nav menu div block which is containing four div blocks with one image, one link, and one image. Those two images, they are actually the left bracket and the right bracket. Uh, and this nav link is where you click to go to the other page. All right, now let's, uh, let's start to build with the, um, here in my bottom part. So let's go get a nav bar component here at the bottom. Inside this navbar, I already have a container. And uh, this container, it, it, there is a few elements which I don't need. So this brand link here, I don't need it, so I can delete. And the menu button, uh, it's actually the hamburger menu for the responsiveness. But we are not going to talk about it in this video, so I can delete as well. So the nav menu, I have three nav links. Uh, so I'm going to delete two nav links. Just keep one because this one, it's the one actually which is here. So I'm going to keep it there and then add some div blocks and images and put it together with the nav link. All right, so I just need actually uh, one more div block here. So I have my container, I have a div block, container, div block. Then I need another div block and two images together with my, with my uh, nav link. So inside this nav link, this nav menu here, I need a div block, which is going there. And inside this div block, I have an image, the nav link, and a second image. So I'll go get the image. All right, here it is. I'll close this one. Then I can drag my nav link and that, and copy paste my image. So I get all my elements. All right, and now you can see those, um, I mean, those four links, they, are the, they have the same structure. So what I'm gonna do is just build one, style it, and then I copy paste it three times. So I get uh, four uh, different links. So let's start with the styling of the navbar. So this navbar here in the template, if I go to here, styling tab, I need, so I need, some typography styling, 500 medium, size 18, color black. So I'm gonna select this one here, give it a class name of navbar. I need 500 medium, 18, and force the color to black. Okay, uh, anything else? Yes, I need background color transparent. So I need a background color, transparent. Okay, I think we're done with the, the navbar, yes. 
So in the, uh, under the navbar, I have the container, but the container, there is no special styling. So I can leave it like that. Then I have a nav menu, which is display here flex. So container, I don't need to touch. Nav menu, I'm going to give it a class name of nav menu. Display flex. Uh, what was the flex again? So it's horizontal this one and this one. So yeah, it's already done, good. Then inside this nav menu, any, any other styling? No. Then the nav link wrapper, I need some padding and margins. So the nav link wrapper is this one here, div block, nav link wrapper. I need, uh, so padding, let me see again. So five margins and 10 padding. So I'm gonna hold the option key and put 10 here and five margin. All right, anything else? Position relative, color black, capitalize letters. So I need position relative, force the Again, the color to black, not this one, this one, and uh, capitalized letters. Okay. And I think, yeah, that's it. Good. Then I have, uh, if I go inside there, I have my first bracket left. So do I need the styling here? Yes, I need the position absolute. 20% top, 0% left. So I'm going to select my first image here, give it a class name of bracket left, position absolute, 20% top, 20% top, and 0% left. Then uh, I think that was it. If I go down, yes. The nav link, I need a zero and zero padding. So if I go there, by default, I have 20 left and right. So I need to force it to zero. Oh, sorry, yeah. Give it a class name of nav link. So I forced my padding, uh, left and right padding to zero. Uh, I think that was, okay, I need to force capitalize water. I think that's, that's uh, not needed because we already done that in uh, the, nav, uh, the nav link wrapper. So, okay, and then my uh, uh, bracket right, I need a position absolute, 20% top, 0% right. So bracket here, give it a class name of bracket right, position absolute, 20% top and 0% right. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, you see here, it's all the way to the right. I'm gonna place this component here in the center so you guys can follow more easily. So to, to do that, I'm just gonna select the section, go to display flex. So here I get my nav bar. So now I can replace those image with the real images. So I'm gonna choose image, left bracket, it's this one. Bracket right is this one, so it looks already really similar. I just have to change the text now. So I'm gonna replace it by studio. And I have my first link here. So what I'm gonna do now, is just copy paste it and get three other links. So I just select here my nav link wrapper, copy paste, and just change the text. pricing and shop. And I'm all done with the styling. So that was really quick. Uh, and now we can jump into the interactions. So if you look at the template here, you see four small icons. It means there is for each of this link, there is an interaction. So let's have a look. So I have first a mouse move over element interaction and I have a mouse hover interaction. 
So if I go back to here, mouse hover is those, brackets appearing and the text changing to red. And the mouse move is the bracket moving when I move my mouse over the nav link. All right, let's start with uh, the mouse hover. So this mouse hover, I have on hover all those steps, so five steps. Those steps here, those two steps, it's initial state. So it's before uh, I start hovering uh, on the nav link. So I want my bracket right to go opacity 0%. And same with bracket uh, left. So basically, I want to hide the brackets. Then when I hover over the element, I want my bracket right and left to go opacity 100%. So I want to show them. And I want my nav link. The text color, I want to move it to, uh, I want to switch it to red instead of black. So very, very simple interaction. Let's build this one. So first let's build the initial state, bracket right, bracket left, opacity zero. Okay, I'm gonna, so close those four links. So I'm just gonna select the first one here. Element trigger, I want a mouse hover. On hover, I want to start an animation the plus here I want to call it hover on link all right and I wanted to select my bracket left and right and go opacity 0% so opacity 0% on initial state so set initial state here I have to activate it 0% opacity all good bracket right same so opacity here, initial state, 0%. Okay, done. Let's go back to the template. Uh, mouse hover, on hover. So those two steps, it's done. Now at zero seconds, I want my bracket right to go opacity 100% in 0 0.15 seconds. And same for my bracket left, 0 0.15 seconds, 100% opacity. Let's do it. Nav link here, mouse hover on hover, hover on link. So I want my bracket left here at zero seconds. I want to opacity 100% uh, here in 0 0.15 seconds. And same with my bracket right, so I can click here to select it. Uh, I want the opacity to go 100% in 0 0.15 seconds. Okay, the last step, if I go back to my template on hover, the last step is the text color of the nav link. So the nav link, I want to go to, to this red here, so I'm going to copy the, the, the code. In 0 0.1 seconds, I want the text to change to red. So nav link wrapper, mouse hover, on hover, I'm going to select my nav link here, click the plus, text color. In 0 0.1 seconds, I want to go to this red here. Okay, done. So if I uh, go here to preview, that's exactly what I need. If I preview here, so here is the template. Here is my uh, new project. So on hover, I want the, the brackets to appear and the text to, to switch to uh, red. So that is good. Let's build the mouse uh, hover out interaction. So go back to my template on hover. So this one is done. Now let's build this one here, hover out. So on, on hover out, I want my bracket to go to 0%, bracket opacity, sorry. Same with the bracket uh, right. So bracket left and right opacity 0% in 0 0.1 seconds. And I want my nav link text color to go back to black in 0 0.1 seconds. So everything in 0 0.1 seconds uh, all together. So mouse hover on hover out. I want to start an animation. Click the plus here, hover out link and in this hover out link I want my bracket left to go opacity 0% in 0 
in 0 0.1 seconds. I want my bracket right to go opacity 0% in 0 0.1 seconds. And I want my nav link here, the text color in 0 0.1 seconds to go back to black, which is this one. Okay, so done. All right, if I preview, how does it look? Looks all right. So black, black text. Here I hover, red text, and uh, I get the brackets. Exactly the same. So now to, um, to, instead of having to go back to each element and set the interaction, what I'm gonna do is just select this one here and make it a class interaction. So if I make it a class interaction, you see now all those uh, links they get, because they have the same class name, they all get the same interaction uh, in one click. So if I go to preview here, beam. All of them, they have now the bracket appearing when I hover. So it's really, really quick to, to this, this um, class, in the class interaction, it's really powerful. All right, we are done with the uh, mouse hover interaction. Now let's build the mouse move interaction. So if I go back to my template here, the mouse move over element interaction, what do, what do I want? So I just want those uh, small steps. So mouse X actions is uh, when I move my mouse on the horizontal ax, what's, what's going on? So I want my bracket right and bracket left to move on X minus five pixels. So when, I, when my mouse is at 0%, so it means all the way to the left, I want my bracket right and left to uh, move on X minus five pixels. And when, I, when my mouse is all the way to the right, 100%, so my mouse is here, I want the brackets, left and right bracket, to move five pixels on, the, on X. Okay, so let's build this one. Uh, select here my navlink wrapper. I'm gonna select a new element trigger, mouse move over element. On mouse move, I want to play mouse animation. Create a new one here. So I'm gonna call it mouse move, uh, mouse move link. That's all right. So on this mouse move, I want my bracket left here at 0%. So it means when my mouse is all the way to the left, at 0%, I want to move on X minus five pixels. And same with the bracket right. At 0%, I want to move minus five pixels. Okay. Here you can see I have my bracket uh, left. It's already done. It's already there with the 100%. The bracket right is not there. So I just have to select here my bracket right plus I want to move five pixels and bracket left five pixels. So at 0%, so when my mouse is all the way to the left, my bracket left and right, they move minus five pixels. And when I move, uh, when I, my mouse is all the way to the right, bracket left and right, they move five pixels on X. If I go live preview here, how does it look? That looks exactly what I want. When I move my mouse on horizontal, my brackets move left and right. All right, let's quit this one and let's go back to the template. Mouse move, mouse move. So this is done. Now let's build the mouse Y actions. So Y, so if X is when I move my mouse like this, Y is when I move my mouse vertically. So what do I want when I move vertically? I want the brackets, uh, the brackets right and left, to move on y minus two at zero percent. So zero percent is when I uh, my mouse is all the way to the top, and uh, when I my mouse is all the way to the bottom, I want to move them two pixels on y. So minus two at zero percent, two at one hundred percent. Let's build this one.
nav link wrapper, mouse move, move of a link. Uh, here is the um, mouse Y, so I'm gonna select my bracket left. At 0%, I want to move. Here, minus two pixels on Y. And uh, the bracket right, same. I want to move, minus two at 0%. And our, at 100%, I want to move to two pixels for bracket left and for bracket right as well. So here, minus, uh, no, two pixels, sorry. Minus two and two. So if I go live preview, how does it look? That looks exactly what I want. If I preview here in the designer, so here is the um, template. Here, was, here is my new component. So, yeah, looks very similar. How you can see here, it's not moving because I haven't applied the interaction yet. And I'm gonna do like, uh, like for the mouse hover, I'm just gonna go down here and set it as a class interaction. And now I have every element here. If I go to preview, they have the mouse move interaction. Just one small uh, detail we uh, have to add, it's here, the smoothing. So if I go back to my template, I can see here smoothing, it's 75%. So it's more, smooth, yeah, it's more smooth than um, if I go to the preview here. It's when I, I start uh, moving, it's more, th it's more smooth than here. Here it's like straight, beam, it's moving. So to do that, I just have to Select here my nav link, mouse move, smoothing, I just put 75%. And if I go to the preview here, here is my template, and here is my new project. So it's exactly the same. And we are done with this tutorial. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys got a few things out of it. Once again, if you want to visit the live preview of this navbar or connect directly into your Webflow dashboard, I put the links in the description, so go check it out. And if you want to find more Webflow components, interactions, and Webflow tutorials, go visit nocodetrive.com. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get all the new videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao.